Cognizant has acquired a U.S.-based healthcare IT firm, Trizetto, for a good $2.7 billion. Pranoy is here to take us through the deal contours. Pranoy? Well, so the uh, announcement of the acquisition coming a short while ago and uh, the Cognizant is to buy Trizetto for about a consideration of approximately $2.7 billion and the acquisition is to be financed by a combination of cash on books uh, as well as debt. And uh, the company says that they have already secured $1 billion for, uh, uh, in terms of committed financing for the acquisition. Now, as far as the company is concerned, Trizetto, the target company, is a leading provider of healthcare IT software and solution services. And uh, the, the management of Cognizant says that the acquisition will, be, will help, them, uh, help them to capture growth in the ever-evolving healthcare space and would also accelerate their market position in the healthcare segment. Acquisition uh, offers $1.5 billion of potential revenue syn synergies over the next five years is what the company is forecasting. Uh, moving on, as far as uh, the client strength and the employee strength of the target company is concerned, currently Trizetto has, uh, serves more than 200 clients and has an employee strength of 3,700 currently. Back to you. Thanks, Pranay. Ravi, Ravi Menon of Centrum Broking is joining us on the phone line. Hi, Ravi. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we haven't been seeing too many deals of late, uh, especially of this scale. What do you make of uh, Cognizant's acquisition? Uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, you know, uh, the other big player in that area, uh, MD Arm, they were acquired by, um, I think, Blackstone for $3 billion. Uh, some time back. So, you know, this is pretty much in the same league. Uh, and it's immense their position. You know, they had always been a leader uh, within the India-centric IT services players in the healthcare space. Uh, so this cements their leadership position. Uh, so, you know, and makes MDM maybe a little more attractive uh, for anybody else who wants to play in that space. Uh, so maybe Wipro, who was, uh, you know, talked about uh, healthcare being a momentum vertical for them, uh, you know, maybe they should look at something like that. Uh, what kind of a message does this send to other Indian IT players, uh, Ravi, at this point of time? Because, you know, there has been talk of Infi having to do acquisitions, but now, see, you know, Cognizant has gone ahead and made this big t tickets purchase. Do you see pressure on Indian companies at this point of time to follow suit? I think this is, yeah, you were right in the sense that this is, uh, there is pressure to follow suit. Um, this is an indication that, you know, that uh, pure play services, you know, starting to uh, change form and, you know, uh, Indian services players are trying to, uh, move towards an Accenture-like model, you know, or uh, CSC, you know, where you have software, you have services that support that software. You also have BPO around the software. Uh, so, you know, Presetto does stuff uh, in the payer space, and, you know, that, that's exactly what it, you know, it delivers to Cognizant, you know. Uh, software plus, uh, you know, that's what Cognizant is talking about, revenue synergies. So they can cross-sell uh, their services around that software that Presetto sells. It also provides BPO services, you know, and Cognizant uh, is a pretty big player in the healthcare BPO space. Um, so we can see some more uh, uh, momentum there for Cognizant. Uh, what kind of an uh, impact is this likely to have on the books, and uh, do you reckon any integration issues uh, in, in the future? Uh, no, integration, I think, you know, should not be too uh, problematic. I mean, given that uh, Cognizant has been a U.S. centric uh, organization, you know, senior management's been there. Uh, they, uh, this acquisition brings only a really small number of employees uh, related to, you know, Cognizant's own scale. Uh, so don't see uh, too many problems, uh, from, you know, relating to that. Uh, just one, one final question, Ravi. How, how do you expect the stocks to react tomorrow, especially the IT pack? Um, I think uh, the IT pack, you know, should be uh, slightly positive. I mean, people would talk about, you know, either doing more acquisitions. I mean, the cash on the books, people have been wondering why, you know, why so much uh, and what's the use of it. Now, with such a big ticket acquisition, you know, we can see that uh, you would need something like two, three billion dollars in the bank or maybe even more. So, you know, people won't question why Infosys has been holding on to its cash. So, you know, as and when an opportunity that is as attractive as this, uh, you know, presents itself, uh, maybe they'll go ahead and do it. Uh, but I don't see them doing it for at least one more year. So, you know, nothing in the near term.